Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about iodine deficiency and what is an iodine deficiency. So this is more common than what you would think. And unfortunately, the more inland that we get, there are certain regions in the world that tend to have more of an iodine deficiency in terms of what they're actually being able to ingest in their diets. And of course, this is related to thyroid health, which is something that I talk about at length in other videos. So some of the continents that are more at risk for the iodine deficiency include Europe, parts of North America, of course, being more inland, and South Asia and Southeast Asia as well, New Zealand, parts of Australia, and some developing countries, especially in Africa, are very, you know, plagued by this iodine deficiency, and that's why you sometimes will see, you know, different pictures of people that have that large goiter in the front of their neck area. Area, and that is often related to the iodine deficiency. So a common area of this iodine deficiency is actually where I live, and this is known as the goiter belt here in North America, and it is along the area where the Great Lakes are, as well as we can see on the map at the upper states of the United States of America, and of course the lower parts of our provinces here in Canada. And that's because our soil is just so deficient in the iodine, and this was discovered years ago, and definitely the incidence of thyroid disorders in this area is very prevalent. So when we discuss iodine deficiency, it's important to know that iodine is part of the halogen group on the periodic table. So this is something that you may know about or may have forgotten about from your high school chemistry class. But in that group of halogens, we have also fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So the chemical structure is very similar and iodine is important because it actually in different states so in its crystalline state is like a semiconductor which is very interesting in terms of helping with the synapses in our nervous system and it does work along with DHA so DHA we know from fish oil sources docosahexaenoic acid it is that important omega-3 that we need for our nervous impulses as well so the DHA works hand in hand with the iodine and this is really important for our chemical signaling in our body and how our body and our cells actually interpret and make energy and allow for that energy and those electrical impulses to pass through our cells. So iodine is known as a trace element as we saw on the periodic table. It is very important for helping with our thyroid hormones. So our T4 and T3, which is our active thyroid hormone, T4 has, as you can guess, four iodine molecules and T3 has three iodine iodine molecules and that removal of that one iodine from the T4 to the T3, which happens mostly in the liver, but in other organs as well, is important for activating that thyroid hormone so that it can have its beneficial effects for our metabolism, for our body temperature, and of course, for making sure that our the entire endocrine system is running as it should be. Now, iodine is also very important for our central nervous system. So not only in the development of it, and this is really important in pregnancy and in a young baby as well. So in infancy, the requirement for iodine is a little bit higher than at other stages of life because of this important need to support the making of a healthy brain and nervous system. Also, the thyroid is the main storage site for our iodine. So most of the iodine in our body is stored in the thyroid gland and it is found in other glands as well. So both in the the salivary glands, also in the sweat glands, which is interesting because based on you know how deficient you may be in iodine, this can affect your sweating and you may not sweat quite as much because your body's trying to retain that iodine. Also, we find high concentrations of iodine in the ovaries, in the breast tissues. So a lot of researchers have looked at the link between iodine deficiency and developing breast cancer. And iodine is definitely part of that active solution for dealing with breast cancer in a natural way. Also, the pancreas holds on to iodine. It's also in the CSF or the cerebral spinal fluid. It's in our skin. It's also found in our stomach. It's in the prostate in men and, of course, in the brain. 
So those were some interesting facts about iodine deficiency. If you do have questions or comments, I would love to hear from you below. Also be sure to share this video and give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of your great feedback. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe. Also click that bell to turn on all notifications so you always get my newest and my latest uploads. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today. Thank you.